you know, we were very excited that uh, we had access to the South Point and the Preford Arena and everything that they had done for us. And, you know, we walked in and it was, it just blew our minds how cool it was going to be to shoot an arena. Mm -hmm. We didn't have carpet or anything. We we literally shot on a dirt floor in I here. I remember that, yeah. And, uh, and we thought that was the coolest thing. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, we got some carpet in and now we've got the seats covered and we've got fancy lighting. Big the banners. South Point has invested millions of dollars in expanding the facility. We now have three arenas to shoot in. Before, we just had this and uh, the side rooms, and uh, we had a practice range down in some of the, the storage areas underneath. And uh, to see the involvement and the, uh, the commitment by the South Point and the Preferred Pavilion and all the people here to work with us to make it such a great event is, uh, is astounding. They really have catered to archery for this Vegas shoot, which grows by leaps and bounds every year. Of course, this uh, event has been held at the Tropicana. It's been held at the Riviera. Mm -hmm. Been held at the um, Sands, I believe. The, it's held at the Sands and uh, the, convention the convention center. The convention center. My first year of competition was at the convention center years ago. I heard it was a little dark. It was a lot dark. <laughs> Shooting in the dark, huh? We we could have used some headlights in there. That sounds was, like the story of my life. <laughs> it was it was it was a lot dark. Uh, my memory that year was uh, Jim Despart winning that event. He's one of the guys on the posters that you see in the hallway here with his fists raised above his head. It was it's quite a win. He's another New York boy, a guy I know quite well. Jim, one of those who has come here for many, many, many years. We'll tell some of the stories of the folks who've participated over the years. A couple of great looking shots out of these guys. First ones out of the barrel. Krichowski with an X right away. High X or broad X. There's another X absolutely center punch that one for Strachalski. Another X. These guys are going head to head. They're going to string this out. And working fast. Little lowish, probably going to catch the 10, but it's going to be close or catch the X. And that's going to be a little edgy. Could be a 10, could be an X. Can't call it from this angle. Might have a tie end here. We'll have to wait for the close up on the cameras on the screen for those guys to get a good look at it. Rod Nax and Strichalski, excuse me. One out of Georgia, one out of Pennsylvania. This in the freestyle division for the young adults. Strich Strachowski shooting for elite and gold tip. Oh, that was a practice end. Here I am calling it for score. It's a practice end. Not a bad practice end. I was kind of listening to uh, George there, so I thought that was uh, I thought that was a shoot for the score. The voice of God. Yes, <laughs> it is the voice of God. George Tekmachov does such a great job. I'd love to have his pipes when I get up. <laughs> so would I. So would I. George has seen it. So I guess it really means it. it uh, we really mean it this time. So this is for keeps. This is uh, this is for keeps. Again, Strachowski shooting elite bows, gold tip arrows. Center punches that almost in the same hole. Looks like a CBE site. Pounds that one right in the middle. Broadnax also has an X on the board already. Beautiful. 10, 10, 10. And another 10, 10, 10, 10. So Broadnax finishes off strong with the 10. Both of these young men shooting very, very well right now as the judges rush out. They'll take a look at the targets along with wow, Jaltsky and Broadnax. Those guys make it look really easy. And again, these are uh, these are young adult champions. I think uh, Alex came out of that division not too long ago. He's a young man himself. In fact, let's switch headsets for just a moment. Let me bring in Alex Whiffler.
have you alongside with us this year for our coverage here on the Vegas shoot. Congratulations, first of all. We never really got a chance to chat with you after last year, but congratulations on that victory. Oh, thank you very much. I had a good year last year. A good year? Yeah, <laughs> it's a great, okay. year. It was a great year. You win the Vegas shoot. That's terrific. When you came to Vegas last year, what were your thoughts? What were you hoping for? Were you realistically just hoping to compete and put on a good show, or did you think you really had a good shot at winning it all? Well, I'll put it this way. When I was shooting at practice, I was shooting really consistent, and when I get on a big stage like this, my goal is always the same. I just want to make good, consistent shots and just do the best that I can. And as it got going, all of a sudden you're rolling and you know you're in it. It never really quite hit me that I could win it until I was in that final match shooting against Levi. And then it finally dawned on me like, oh, wait, I could actually win this. I'm not just shooting in it. So you, you felt no pressure up until that point, huh? Uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't go that far as saying I didn't feel <laughs> any pressure. <laughs> but... Uh, my thought process was definitely a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And then the aftermath, what was that like? Shock? Ap yes, shock. I'm uh, finally coming to terms with the fact that I won it. I would say that's probably accurate. <laughs> As you look out on these young men right now competing, take you back? Oh yeah, definitely. It definitely takes me back last year. It's just, there's no other stage in the world quite like Vegas. It's absolutely the pressure cooker of them all. It's amazing to see. I mean, there's so many talented young archers who are coming up these days. I mean, the competition is just incredible. Yes, there's a lot of new faces out there that are shooting really high scores that I think we're going to see a lot of good things coming up from them in the future. Winning the Vegas shoot last year, what did that do for you in your career? Well, I'd say uh, it definitely helped it get it kick-started a little bit better. It, I don't know if I would be where I'm at right now if I hadn't won Vegas. Mm -hmm. It gave me a really big confidence boost in all other areas of archery, too. So I'm really thankful for that. Alex Whiffler with us, the uh, winner of the Vegas shoot a year ago. We're going to bring him back in, but let's bring Chuck Cooley back in now. As we switch headsets on the fly just a little bit. Love live, live coverage. <laughs> live. Super technical. Yes, yeah, super technical. <laughs> <laughs> but we're making it work out here. That's great. And uh, while I was chatting with Alex, why don't you bring folks up to speed on what was going on in that match? Uh, looks like we have a, a win there. And I missed, uh, here's Bruce Call giving us the call. So Curtis Brognax. Curtis Brognax. Both of them shooting elite bows. So Curtis Brognax comes away with a victory there in the freestyle division for youth adults, or young adults, I should say. Mm -hmm. Brognax out of Georgia. So congratulations. Well, actually, congratulations to both. It's a, I've always said it's an amazing achievement, whether you win or not, just to get to this level to work your way through these fields and qualify and get to the point where you're standing on that line. Right, especially for these young men. I mean, you look at uh, the divisions these days and you look at the scores that these young men are putting up. Uh, one of the young guys that uh, I've been affiliated with uh, out of Georgia uh, in the younger divisions, he shot a clean 600 this weekend. He's 14 years 14 old. 14 years old. And uh, How old I'm sorry, you? no, no, I'm sorry. He's uh, just turns. He turned had his birthday here. He's 16 this weekend, uh, and he's heading to Turkey in just a few weeks. Isn't You'll that see amazing? Him there. Yeah, that's amazing. So at I was lucky to go to McDonald's. Right, right. I was on a field trip to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> so, you know, these guys at this age with this equipment and this experience and this skill level. It, you know, for the future of archery and the, and how how good it's going to be, it's really.